Hey guys, it's Brandy. I just wanted to do a quick video showing a craft room update. I reorganized and right now it's kind of clean. So I wanted to share how I uh, reorganized. So um, let's get started. So, hey guys, it's Brandy. I just wanted to hop on and do a quick video showing a craft room update. I went through and I reorganized my craft room because it was an absolute mess. <clears throat> I will put a picture of my craft room at the end of this video of what it looked like. Um, it might not look like I changed much, um, but I have. Um, it's just a distant photo, so you might not be able to tell. But I'm going to show you what I ended up doing. So I kind of cleared off a lot of the clutter that was up here and over here. And I... um cleared all this out that way it doesn't look as cluttered maybe I won't feel so claustrophobic in here um this is stuff that I need to fix for my daughter all the stuff that's on my table right here is Christmas stuff so I'm still working on Christmas so I got that out but eventually that'll go back into my closet and then this is all in process projects my December daily a couple mini albums and I'm working on some cards um which I will share a few of them that I created um, using some scraps. Right here. And right here. So that's what I created there. Um, and then I got some dies right here that I need to cut out um, that I want to make projects with that I just got. Um, underneath here, I had to put my glass mat right here because my dog kept grabbing the journaling cards um, and taking off with them. So I put this here to prevent her. She's still going to get the top ones, but at least she's not. She's limited, at least. <clears throat> As for my closet, um, I have a rolling cart here for all my die cutting. All my die cuts are down here that are in process. I have a ton of them. That I need to put together so eventually I want to take all these out to the living room and just put these together while we're watching a movie or something. Um, that is a goal of mine. Um, that way I have a lot of less in process but there are times when I just feel like die cutting and I just die cut, die cut, die cut, die cut and then I don't put anything together. So um, it's just therapeutic for me. Um, I cleared off all the stuff that was up here um, and then I put more boxes up here that are labeled of extra stuff like e extra envelopes, paper straws, extra project life, ornaments, um, like clear ornaments to decorate if I want, extra paint, um, and like just extra stuff. So that's all that stuff and then some extra albums and stuff and then a couple of my scrapbook totes are up there. So I have all that there. Um, as for in here, not much has changed. I'm trying to, I want to find a place for this, these two totes, because I just want to leave these open. That way it's easier for me to access them instead of moving stuff and then getting to them, because that's just annoying. So, eventually I want to find a place for those two, but I know I'm running out of space, but I think I just need to reconfigure a few things. Um... But yeah, I put my adhesive over here instead of up on my tabletop. That way it's just off my tabletop and on the side of my cart. So I'm going to go slow. So a big transformation was Brooklyn's area. It was an absolute disaster. Um, this is her cubby here. I have three binders of her stickers. I got extra embellishments, extra stamps, and some foam pieces right here. Um, I got all of her inks right here which I want to find a container to put them in. Um, that way those are easily stored so she can just grab them and go. This they kind of fall out so I need to find something else for these. Plus so they're off her tabletop. So I got her little trash can, her little thing here. I got her spray bottle hung up and then over here are those containers I got from Ross. These are those stamps like that and they fit great. These I believe you can get one similar 
at Walmart and at possibly Dollar Tree. They clip on the side and everything the same way, but I got these at Ross. It came with this one, this one, a bigger one, and I think another one of these three. So I got that there. Fits perfect there. So those are those, and those are some embellishments that were in this. Like gems and buttons and stuff like that of hers. So I just kind of have this here. I have her scrapbook pictures here. I have her stamping tool here. Some markers here. Um, yeah, and then those are her paints, and then that's an art kit right there. And then over here, I have her extra crayons, extra markers, uh, some big posters for her to color, her alcohol markers that she has, and then I have the big tote from Ross that came with that kit with all of her extra pens and markers and stuff like that in there. So she's got tons of drawing stuff and not to mention there's more in here and more in here. And then die cuts here and then all of her coloring books and her notepads and stuff like that are right here. So I organized, reorganized that. So, um, let me see if there's... Her tabletop only has her paper and her washi tape. We used to have, like, stuff just piled up right here to separate the areas. But I was wondering if that just kind of crowded the area and made us not want to craft. So I'm going to try to do this more open. Over here is where I put that vintage stapler from my grandma. Um, this is a little trinket tray of Brooklyn's. That's her paper and paper trimmer, and that's my computer. And then all my embossing folders are here, a Sensi. Um, I'm starting to store my charms in these containers from Harbor Freight. Charms and buttons. So, and then this is a container from Hobby Lobby for her die cutting. And these are extra stamps of Brooklyn's. So, and then I also have a clear container right here that I got from Hobby Lobby. I told you I was going to find something for it. I put all of my other charms in these Dollar Tree bins and I'm storing them in this clear container. So, and then there's the rest of my beads. Um, so yeah, that is an update. Hope you guys are doing well and stay tuned for the video or the picture of my craft room of when it was messy. Bye guys. Bye.